Chocolatee, a Windows Package Manager? Yes, it's possible to manage all of your Windows programs and software directly from Command Prompt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install, uninstall and upgrade your software alone or in bulk with this piece of software here. So stay tuned and watch this video to the end to learn how to do that. If you're new to this channel but you want to learn the dark arts of programming, subscribe and click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. Ok, so the first thing that you need to do here is to go to chocolatee.org and after that click on the install link here. After that scroll a little bit and until you find install with command.exe. Now what you would need to do is to copy this line of code here, double click and press Ctrl C and now we would need to run command prompt with admin privileges. So search in your windows bar for CMD and right click there and run as administrator. Click on yes and after that paste this code here and that will get your uh, chocolate tea and uh, install it. Ok, so after you have installed uh, chocolate tea and you see uh, this uh, message here, you would need to close uh, the command prompt and uh, open it again. So open it again as an administrator. Ok, now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to install a single a package or a program. So go ahead and scroll back up again until you see the menu and click on packages here. Now for whatever reason if you do not see any packages whatsoever click here on the normal view to a moderator queue and after that switch that back again to a normal view. I do not understand why this is happening but uh, this is the solution I have found uh, to see the packages again. So now uh, let's go ahead and find a software to install on our system. So let me just find software that I do not have on my computer and I'm going to install GIMP here. Uh, GIMP if you do not know is a photo manipulation tool like Photoshop but it's open source so copy this choco install gimp and go back in command prompt and paste that here and after you press enter uh, it will ask you to confirm if you really want to run this script so press y and press enter again and this will start uh, downloading uh, all the necessary files for the software and it will install them afterwards. Ok, now uh, that uh, your installation is complete you're going to see a message like that that the install uh, was uh, successful and now I want to show you what uh, you're uh, going to get if you do not uh, run uh, your command prompt as an administrator. So let's go ahead and close this Let's open our command prompt uh, without admin privileges, so open it as normally. And now if you would uh, like to install a software like this for example, just paste that here and you're going to get, after you confirm the script, you're going to get uh, errors like that. And if you do have uh, errors like that, uh, just keep in mind that uh, you need to have command prompt as admin opened. So this uh, little thing that I want to show you, uh, because uh, I always forget uh, to open my command prompt as admin. So let's close this again and open command prompt with admin privileges. Okay. So now let me show you how you can install multiple programs with one line of code and one command here. And 
first what we would need to do let's open a notepad and let's go ahead and search for packages to install on our system so let me find some packages here go ahead and select whatever software you would uh, want to install on your system just copy the choco install and the name of the package and paste it in your notepad after that uh, whatever uh, other piece of software that you would want to install just copy it and paste it separated by a space here and now let me just copy some more examples here and now uh, in order for our uh, command prompt to not prompt and ask us if we really want to run those scripts at the end of the command that we are building here type dash y and this will confirm all the installs for us so copy this and paste it in your command prompt and this will start uh, downloading the packages and installing them okay so after all of the packages are successfully installed you should uh, see a message like that and now what i want to show you is uh, how you can install previous versions of a software so let me just find a piece of software that i do not have on my system let's say we would want to install your fan view so go ahead and click on the package and after that go ahead and scroll down to the version history over here and select the version that you want to install so let's go ahead and install this Irfan view 4.44 so in order to install that just copy the code here or just type choco install the name of the uh, package and dash dash version and the number of the version so let's go ahead and copy this and uh, install it on our system and as you can see we have successfully installed your fan view 4.44 so now what i want to show you is uh, how we can see if we have outdated software on our system so just type choco outdated and this will list all the software that is outdated currently as you can see we have uh, uh, your fan view here and now i'm going to show you how you can upgrade your software so in order to upgrade it just type choco upgrade and after that you can either type the name of the programs uh, that you want to upgrade or you can upgrade all of the software that you have installed on your PC so type O and this will go through all the packages that you have installed check them and upgrade them if necessary so here we are downloading the latest version let's confirm it and as you can see we have updated one package here now the next thing that I would uh, like to show you is how to uninstall a package it's uh, very simple it's the same as installing packages just type choco uninstall and the name of the package your fan view or if you want to uninstall all packages all together uh, just type O and this will uninstall all the packages that you have installed with chocolate okay now the last thing that i would want to show you is where you can find references for all the commands that you can use with chocolate tea so let's go ahead and go to the home and here you can uh, click on the docs and after that scroll down until you see using chocolate tea here you can find the command references of all the commands that you can use with chocolate tea Keep in mind that some of the commands are for paid users only. So this is it for this tutorial. If you liked the video, smack the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you next time.